Hello, it's Dr. Bream. Hope everybody's doing well today. I want to talk about another issue that obviously comes up this time of year surrounding flu season, uh, talking about the effectiveness of Tamiflu. So Tamiflu is one of the FDA-approved options for treatment of the flu. There was a nice review article, a Cochrane review summarized by the British Medical Journal that I was going to share with you to talk about the risk and benefits of Tamiflu and whether or not you know, if you were diagnosed the flu if you should take Tamiflu or not. So just some notes. Um, so you said this is a review from the BMJ. Um, Tamiflu is a, a neuramidase inhibitor, so basically one of the you know, viral proteins of uh, influenza. So basically what they found in this review article that Tamiflu decreased uh, illness by about 17 hours in um, adults and by about 29 hours in children. However, they did not see this held up in asthmatic children for whatever reason. Um, the review article found that Tamiflu did not seem to decrease the risk of hospitalization or objective pneumonia. And it did not seem to decrease the risk of secondary infections such as sinusitis, otitis media, or lower respiratory infections such as bronchitis or pneumonia. There is an increased risk of nausea and vomiting in adults. The number needed to harm was approximately 25, and in children, that number needed to harm is about 19. And it, the uh, review article did find that Tamiflu decreases the rates of diarrhea and cardiac adverse events. So Tamiflu can also be used for prophylaxis. So let's say someone tests positive in your house and you have a high-risk individual living in your house and maybe reasonable to do Tamiflu prophylaxis. So the study showed um, that it reduced symptoms of flu by about 55%. So the number needed to benefit was 33. And it decreased household risk by about 14%. The number needed to benefit was seven. But it did not necessarily decrease the risk of transmission, asymptomatic infection, or hospitalization risk. There was an increased risk of psychiatric symptoms, headaches, kidney issues, and nausea when Tamiflu was used for prophylaxis. So again, kind of how to approach this, Tamiflu is most helpful if started within 48 hours of symptom onset. And then you sort of have to do a risk-benefit analysis for this. So. I generally offer Tamiflu to patients and get their informed consent that, hey, you can take this, but if you start feeling nauseous or having vomiting or any of these other effects, you just need to stop it. Um, in children, I think the number needed to harm starts to approach where maybe it's not as beneficial in children who are relatively you know healthy. You know, I think in, if you're kind of a well child who's eight years old, and you have the flu, then I would offer it to you. But I tell you, I don't know that the benefits are that great. Um, and when you're really talking about the benefit, it decreases the length of illness by about a day or so, which may not sound like a lot, but if you're somebody who's self-employed and you know getting back to work one day sooner is, is kind of a big deal. Um, so you have to take those things into consideration. So ultimately I say that getting Tamiflu is a risk benefit discussion and that should be discussed between you and your physician. I think it should be offered to patients, but they should also understand that it doesn't do a lot to decrease the risk of hospitalization, pneumonia, serious bacterial infections, or other complications, but it can decrease how long it takes you to uh, start feeling better and get back to work. So that's kind of the four minute summary of what you need to know about Tamiflu. Hope you guys have enjoyed this and we'll continue to do some video blogs in the future uh, talking about pertinent uh, medical information uh, that may be needed you know, during this uh, flu time of year. But thank you. And again, just remember if you need anything from Bree Medical, we do urgent care, primary care, telemedicine. Our Salisbury phone number is 704-216-1263. We'll be opening in Stokesdale in, on January of 2023 and hopefully in Edenton by the spring of 2023. And you certainly can visit breemedical.com for more information. Have a great day.